Ini di daerah. Ini kemotot sampai setiap hari ini ngadu. Oh, tak kasih buat kacang buat kudin mah mungkin dosa. Kacang. Eh, juga boleh ke nak? Kau cakap dia kau nak ke lah? Boleh ke? Gombal lebih ke, lebih ke yang saya sih. So, semasa soji? Semasa soji mana? Eh, semua. Soji mana? Eh, apa orang gombal lebih ke yang saya sih mana? Oh, terang. Oh dia, mana boleh betul ni ada? Ni je yang susah, orang orang baru besar. Ya ya. Susah susah susah. 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 ในสาวะก็เสียเด็ดเด็ดจ้าเด็ดนายนักเจ้าของเด็ดโอ้คนบอกทุกสิ่งเด็ดเจ้าเนี่ยเจ้าต้องมาดูเดี๋ยวละช
the precious uh, uh, teaching um, or the path. And uh, this path or the teaching, um, which basically is a, a kind of a methodology, kind of a, a, a technique, a technology, but if you will, because it is uh, designed or taught, shared by Buddha, and aimed to help us to achieve our goal, and uh, that goal, our spiritual goal. So that that goal, and um, uh, which Buddha achieved, um, uh, and has involved with uh, stages of development, developmental stages of practice. Um, so it has to be a uh, goal through the uh, uh, the various uh, um, process, uh, the stages of the practice. And in other words, has to go through the uh, 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 a series of uh, uh, process of the teaching and the practices and learning and the practices. But essentially, and this uh, uh, the purpose to achieve this goal, and uh, um, according to Buddha's teaching, that. Our focus, our primary focus is uh, our own mind. Okay, and so the, to, the, in other words, to, the way to achieve our goal has to be an uh, happening or that very goal uh, achievement of that spiritual, that enlightened spiritual goal has to be taking place uh, in our mind. Uh, so within our mind, and in the. So the mind is the key factor, right? Uh, this is because uh, uh, in our mind, the, 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 the very fundamental basic of our humanity or the nature of the mind is uh, uh, virtuous and is a, a decent and a, is a, 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 the a enlightened quality. So, um, and we all, right, and it has this kind of a seeds level, seeds level, uh, uh, we all have this, and that's a seeds in our mind. Um, so, because it is, and we are still, in the, uh, uh, the way to experience that is in the seeds level, so therefore we have to go through the uh, process of the, uh, the practice and, and the learning and practice to, uh, um, to fully and uh, explore uh, or make that uh, uh, essential uh, the, uh, the state of uh, uh, enlightenment uh, 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 to be manifested. And uh, uh, in other words, to, to the way to um, materialize that actual highest spiritual goal achieved by Buddha and, uh, and, and uh, within the mind, uh, so we have to uh, understand uh, the and the positive and the virtuous um, and, uh, uh, and the, the qualities of uh, our mind, the goodness of our mind. And then, and uh, uh, so we needed to uh, implement in those understanding and then the pro and, and, involve, and then uh, take it uh, uh, further step uh, forward and to, uh, 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 to achieve that goal. So the way we started is that uh, once you will fully rec recognize that uh, the, this positive and uh, uh, the enlightened qualities of our own mind and uh, from its seeds level and by, by um, practice the uh, good qualities and, and, uh, of our humanity such as uh, uh, kindness, compassion and uh, um, and the wisdom, and then uh, so eventually we definitely will uh, attain the enlightenment. Um, so nevertheless, uh, uh, just to let me point this uh, over and, uh, once again, um, the way we have the same goal, and uh, but uh, the way we uh, approach, uh, our approach could be very different. Um, and uh, we all have to recognize and remember that we all, it doesn't matter uh, how your approach are different, and, uh, but we all have uh, the absolute, shared the uh, same absolute uh, uh, fundamental desire. That desire is that uh, we do not want uh, uh, suffering and we want to be happy. Uh, but just to want to, do, to be happy, I wish to be happy, 
and and it will not uh, help you to achieve the and the uh, actual goal. And uh, so, each individual who wish to be happy has to know how to cultivating how to and uh, uh, the adopt a proper a uh, right a correct form of uh, methodology uh, and the practice to achieve that goal and uh, we all uh, at the same time share, uh, share a uh, or we have uh, the same uh, shared common um, problem that problem is a uh, fear that is we do not want to suffering so just say i do not want suffering or you um, hate to experience any um, pain or any undesirable experience that itself is uh, alone is not enough so you have to know how to uh, stop in in that awful painful uh, bad and uh, negative experience so so this takes us why we are here today okay why we are here we are here essentially we try to uh, learn what uh, uh, kind of things we need to embrace or to adopt him and uh, what kind of things and the thoughts or actions we needed to reject or to abandon Sometimes Shagatam, <laughs> Sangiki <laughs> Tingores, Shubala, <laughs> Um, so here uh, the, we're going to learn and uh, fundamentally as two um, uh, different topics uh, in uh, the essence of it, uh, it uh, basically is that uh, 
We know the uh, once we are so sure of or clear about our spiritual goal, and uh, so we need to uh, adopt uh, the uh, the most effective and uh, um, uh, path and uh, 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 through which we, uh, to attain our uh, highest goal and uh, our spiritual goal. And so. Among all the methodologies, all the uh, possible uh, paths, and uh, here uh, uh, in the Mahayana teaching, in the awakening mind, the adoption and uh, or adopting or the implementing uh, implementation or the practice of the awakening mind, the Bodhicitta, is considered the, is the um, essential, is the highest, and is uh, the most uh, effective. Uh, uh, path or the methodology. Um, so, in order to understand uh, the greater power or the quality and the effectiveness uh, and and uh, of uh, the awakening mind, the Buddha Chitta, um, and we need uh, uh, to go see what uh, Nagarjuna, uh, the, uh, the great uh, uh, Mahayana philosopher, and and, uh, and uh, uh, the enlightened uh, uh, master of uh, uh, ancient India, uh, Nagarjuna, what he says in his uh, uh, work, uh, his writing, and uh, called uh, Precious Garland. So here uh, he's pointing the importance of or the unique power, the absolute, uh, the, uh, this, uh, the beautiful spiritual quality uh, of the Bodhicitta. And uh, what he says here is that. If you and the world wish to attain uh, unsurpassable full awakening, the source is the awakening mind. So Nagarjuna has pointed out that uh, this is the only way. This is the way you do, uh, and, uh, it would uh, help, help you to awaken. The uh, unsurpassable full awakening mind is the uh, 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 way. And, uh, and to, uh, to, uh, to help you attend the enlightenment. So the source is the awakening mind, and then which should be as uh, um, uh, stable as the king of a mountain. So that means the, so you understand this, the, uh, see the, the beauty, the, the, uh, the important, the most uh, 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 desirable qualities of uh, the awakening mind, then you have to uh, adopt it, and then you need to implement in that. Uh, the way you maintain on this practice or the uh, cultivation of this mind has to be as stable or, or as firm and, the, and uh, uh, as a, the, a mountain. And uh, in other words, uh, unchangeably or unshakably. Um, so this precious uh, mind, the awakening mind, uh, uh, here is, uh, uh, in addition to what Nagarjuna said, um, we also can uh, understand uh, um, the proper way, not just the proper way in the, in the context of Adriana practice, uh, um, uh, the, in terms of uh, adopting um, or uh, 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 yeah, adopting the Bodhicitta, but uh, most importantly, and uh, uh, through the uh, dialogue uh, between the uh, Manjushri, the Buddha of Wisdom, or Bodhisattva of Wisdom, and the Vajrapani, and the uh, Bodhisattva of the Power, uh, what did they uh, uh, say is that uh, they also, uh, uh, through the, their dialogue or conversation between these two uh, enlightened beings, we can see how precious or how important the Bodhicitta is in terms of uh, its uh, absolutely uh, spiritual and uh, effectiveness or the power. Uh, so here uh, the conversation goes on like this. Oh, great Bodhisattva, the great uh, mysteries of uh, this extremely vast mandala of uh, Dharani, which are extremely profound, unfathomable, uh, rare, and sacred, uh, and, and secret should not be revealed to evil beings. O oh, Vajrapani, and if you want to refer to using your textbook, yes, I'm sorry, please, uh, uh, it is on page 44. Page 44. Uh, page 
So the Vajrapani and uh, uh, yes, uh, initiation sutra. So it, it, in the Vajrapani uh, uh, initiation sutra, yeah, it also says um, explains how precious or how important uh, the Buddhicitta is uh, in the context of a uh, practice of Vajrayana. And, uh, so let me uh, uh, read again. Uh, oh, great Bodhisattva, the great mysteries of this extremely vast mandala of Dharani, which are extremely profound, unfathomable, rare, and uh, secret, should not be revealed to evil beings. O oh, Vajrapani, what you have said is unique and extremely rare. Therefore, how is one to explain it to those beings who have never heard of it before? To this, Vajrapani explained, O oh, Majushri, at such a time that anyone who is engaged in meditation on the awakening mind has achieved that state of mind, then, O oh Manjushri, those who perform the activities of a Bodhicitta, a Bodhisattva, uh, yeah, Bodhisattva uh, specifically the activi activities involving secret uh, man uh, mantra, should enter into the and Tarani Mandala by receiving the great wisdom initiation. Anyone who has not accomplished the awakening mind should not engage in these practices. They should neither view nor enter the mandala. To them, to them the gestures and the details of uh, uh, secret mandala should never be uh, been shown. Um, so you can see that through this dialogue or conversation uh, between the uh, Manjushri um, and the uh, Vajrapani, so um, we all uh, uh, basically or generally informed that uh, um, the Mantrayana or Vajrayana and uh, is uh, uh, very has its kind of a miraculous and. Uh, 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 inconceivable powers. It's really in the, uh, the, 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 the path and the, which are very profound and uh, 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 very secret. Uh, secret. But uh, here, according to this conversation, we know it. Uh, so the foundations of, uh, in fact, the foundations of uh, Vajrayana practice, uh, regardless of how powerful it is and uh, how secret and uh, it is. Um, essentially, is uh, uh, has to be dependent upon and uh, the practice of uh, uh, bodhicitta, and the awakening mind. So, uh, therefore, and the, uh, that we know that to practice bodhicitta and uh, it is uh, uh, essential. It has to be the starting point um, of uh, the uh, practice of uh, uh, vajrayana. Oh, Bombazong Sanchi 
ジュンゴタマトミチケションシステムかヨーダサシオヨーズナタヨーズニツチクイティヨーマルデマビシェゴルデネズナコテオカンデネズティズムキゴソソランゴタンゴシャワカンタクンジナタンゴタンゴランタ
all kinds of uh, uh, attack. It is like a hook which draw you out of the water of a cyclic existence. It is like uh, the uh, whirlwind which uh, scatter all mental uh, obstructions and their sources. It is like the uh, condensed teaching that uh, encompassed all the prayers and uh, activities of Bodhisattva. It is like uh, the shrine, and that's the last word metaphor, it is uh, like uh, the shrine before which all the gods, humans, and demigods uh, of the world can present their offerings. O oh, child of my family, the awakening mind is endowed like this, with uh, these and uh, immeasurable other excellent qualities. Um, so, yes, uh, through this 13 uh, metaphor, and you can see the, uh, the excellent uh, qualities of uh, awakening the mind in terms of uh, removing the, uh, uh, the disturbing emotions, and uh, in terms of uh, uh, to uh, free yourself from the uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the sufferings of a cyclic existence, and also and uh, uh, ultimately, and then to uh, uh, help others to free from the cyclic existence. And um, so, we as a learner, uh, we have to um, over take a, a, a moment to reflect upon, and then. Uh, this teaching, this particular teaching, and uh, and uh, try to see and and uh, or try to understand um, the excellent quality and the power and uh, the benefits of uh, this uh, very uh, remarkable thoughts, uh, remarkable, remarkable and uh, practice and uh, 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 of awakening uh, a mind. And is it indeed so? And uh, only uh, the way to uh, see this effective, how effective, uh, um, how powerful, and how effective, and uh, um, and uh, to appreciate it and the uh, uh, excellent qualities of uh, awakening mind, and you first have to really understand it and see it itself. Uh, it really indeed has such a quality, and is uh, really make yourself. Uh, and uh, uh, through your understanding, and uh, make it, it awaken the mind is very appeal to you, and uh, and then you will have the uh, develop an um, a aspiration, and meaning that you want you will have a, a mind you will have determined and to achieve it. Okay, once you determine have the uh, the uh, um, to resolve your mind on awakening, then. The action will uh, naturally follow. In other words, you will put uh, your idea, your understanding, and uh, your inspiration into the actual practice, right? And uh, so you will further uh, to engage in the next level or higher level of uh, uh, the Dharma practice and uh, through uh, the the process of uh, study and. Uh, uh, contemplation and the meditation, right? Um, because you see how beautiful it is, and you want to and transform this uh, uh, idea of awakening mind from uh, the scripture and uh, into your own uh, mind. In other words, you want uh, this precious and great and excellent uh, spiritual uh, awakening quality and uh, born, okay, born or down into your own mind. And become your own and identity, become your own self. So you won't do that. So that's what naturally happening if you uh, uh, fully develop a, a, a clear understanding and develop a, a strong aspiration to achieve uh, such a uh, quality. So this is the process is just two actually. So listen, right, and uh, and uh, um, listen to the teaching, right. Uh, um, and then contemplating and the the, the, the very teaching, um, and then uh, 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 then um, bring it into the, your day to day uh, uh, life. 
So that's a re uh, required uh, practitioners. And uh, first of all, has to start with uh, uh, really cultivating or thinking and uh, uh, train uh, your own mind and try to understand this. In other words, you have to do a lot of homework internally and the thinking and thinking uh, and try to questioning and try to um, make it a, a very, uh, uh, the, the qualities of uh, the spiritual, uh, the awakening uh, mind that we have learned uh, through the 13 uh, uh, metaphors and uh, to really to, uh, 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 to make yourself uh, in the feel that uh, it is absolutely possible and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, absolutely beautiful and it is possible and that very this very beautiful idea and and the uh, uh, the spiritual quality can indeed uh, one day will and uh, uh, born and, uh, uh, or dawn and uh, into my mind and uh, well and uh, growing and developed in uh, fully uh, in my own the, the the stream of on my mind so and yes uh, um so this requires yes again you have to really questioning okay um and study it uh, in fact uh, all things which whichever you do this the most successful the only way and the to be successful in any activities, we know first of all we have to uh, study, right, and and uh, questioning, and uh, then we need to do it, right. So similarly here, you can apply this the same uh, 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 fashion, and uh, in in this particular context, meaning that to study this uh, a great idea of awakening mind and questioning about its uh, uh, qualities. And then, um, uh, so uh, bring yourself uh, and uh, to the um, point where you have no doubt whatsoever. And then, and uh, uh, just uh, uh, dedicate yourself into these ideas uh, and, uh, and day and the night. And uh, so this uh, requires not just faith itself, but requires a clear understanding. If we say faith, and uh, not just some uh, faith like uh, uh, I heard of, of it, uh, I think it is, and uh, it most likely will be, and then you say I believe it, okay, or I have faith in it. No, it's not like that. So you think this is possible, and then you take a further uh, uh, step, uh, uh, step forward, uh, questioning what you think is possible, okay, and. Uh, try then try to overcome the, any doubts involved with that possibilities. Okay? So then you reach the uh, uh, you gain the conviction, right? Because first of all you think it's possible, and then you because you didn't stay stay there just to say oh then maybe okay I believe it it seems like okay I believe it but you didn't stay, stop there. You you took it a further step. You questioning uh, what you really feel is uh, uh, is something is trustworthy or is it believable. But you rather you questioning your own the sense of that uh, trust or the sense of uh, uh, the faith or believe, and then you overcome a lot of the process of uh, 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 a lot of the course of uh, the that uh, questioning, and then you able to free yourself from all the related doubts, okay, and questions, the doubts. And then finally, you say yes. That is a, for sure. That is a uh, 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 very clear. So then, this is still the faith. But this faith in Buddhism is the faith of uh, um, the uh, aspiration, the faith of uh, you know, and uh, 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 based, uh, based on the clear understanding, based on uh, valid uh, reasons. Uh, so this is no longer a, a superstition. And the kind of oh I it feels or I feels uh, it seems oh, I feels no not, not like that it is you say I know it right so this is a way and uh, uh, so how we should uh, approach the uh, uh, the Buddhist uh, uh, chitta in terms of uh, fully understand its uh, uh, excellent qualities. <laughs> Sembatonio, 
Jadi gawat kau sih di laut ini ni, tada langsung ke dalam laut. Tapi yang yang samud dalam tu pun pentol semua tu. Ngaram ni nanti nampi cam cam tu jadi samud dalam laut. Tes ni, susu ngapai ngaji mesti cem mungkin tu kiri mungkin jalan maga waktu yang tu langsung ni di sekitar bah kau 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 cik nanti sudah pentol ni lah. Tapi cakap orang gom jahat ni, ni dengan kamu tu amat tu, dengan cuma kerja je nanti. Kita dengan dua kedua itu dalam sami no no sih mana tu ya senjir amar. Tetapi kita sama sama dengan mana tu pun cipar itu awat. Dewa dewa cipam cong na pe. Oh, tapi dengan mana dewa cipam cong je cuci cuci dengan iwar tu nanti iwar mana tu sama dewa pe cipam itu boleh. Tetapi nanti orang tu jadi tetapi cipar itu orang tu jadi cipar itu kedua nanti tetapi cipar itu amar cipar. Orang tu jadi cipar itu lebih jadi kawat kerja. Orang tu cipar mana ni? Kat dia nang ngaji ko dekik cong na jadi jeng jeng dengan la jadi ni macam ni. Tetapi senjir sampai dewa tu. Tetapi jadi orang orang susu orang. Alam tu nampi tu nyoda tu sajin lah, kongro lang sajin lah, tu cuba jaga sajin, tahu tu sajin, cuma, ngaju semu masa tu tamu tu tangan tu sama tu tangan tu lewat ngaju tu ni tu, tu tangan orang tu nyengkol lah, tu tangan apa tu 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 sebentar ni tu tu ngaju cila itu tu tu cahdo. Oh, tu ni zaman tu tu dekik tu zaman tu susu dewa tu zaman tu tu zaman tu pola dekik tu boleh tu. Kat dia tu sama tu tangan na, pasok lah kat dia na samsi je na, pasok tu kan ngaju sama semu tu, orang tu orang tu mesti sangat kuat je ni tu. Dekik rancang dekik tangga biaya ni sedih yang tuan ni macam ni lah kita ni cedah tangga sesi macam ni yang tua cerita tu. Tapi macam ni tu orang cipu cipu yang macam ni ni jeng dekik tangga dori tangga tu pasok tu na ko rancang dewa dewa dapat dengan mandu payah tu ni langsung tu lah khati cinta sekurang ni yang dah lama yang dah lama ni yang dah tak tahu tak sedang tangga tiga orang ni Dengar cium, dengar cium tu, dengar dia orang ni sedang cium, sedang dia cium, sedang dia jangan tu jasa nak marah tu, semula orang tu cenderung cik saya tu cenderung tak kuyam, cenderung macam mana ni kanjeng macam tu, siapa kanjeng macam tu, siapa tu, ni orang tu yang tu 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 ni tamat tu lah tu, ni orang tu tengah tu tu semula yang buat cium tu ni orang tu susu orang tu, tu 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 hak tu tu tanggung dia oh, tanggung orang tu yang tu 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 yang yang tu macam siapa tu semua pamer pun jadi zaman tu. Yang tidak ni orang ni, ni orang susu orang ni lah, buat apa tu kan? Jalan dua tu kerja ni. Samu tu yang tu yang tu kiri ti, samu tu kiri sisi kita. Si kurang ten ten baca ni, ten ten bina macam tu. Dekik tu cik cik orang yang buat apa na? Ni orang tu dekik tu cawat cik ni buat ni. Ni tu cik ke ni ke ni, cik ke mana ni ke ni? Ni orang tu buat ni. Ni tu semula tu ni, gom jaga tu ten tu. Ni tu tawajin yang tu cik. Tawat tu jen tu orang susu dewan tu baca pare dengan tu baca pama tu. Tawat tu ni cik ni, oh cik pare na, oh tu sama dewan tu ni. So seperti. Dengan tempat orang show, saya sambut orang bermusik. Oh ya. Okay. So, with respect to today's text, and I think I just said as much for today. Next, I like to encourage you all and practice meditation with me. Right. And let's uh, practice, uh, uh, use the rest of time and uh, the practice meditation. And the meditation uh, for today, right? Um, what are we going to meditate on, right? Uh, so our meditation for today is uh, um, economity, right? That's, the, uh, uh, that's the, our theme, right? The theme of the meditation is equanimity. Right? So what is equanimity? What do I mean by equanimity? Here, uh, the, the simplest, uh, let's reflect upon the, uh, the simplest reality or the full truth. That is, start yourself thinking, do you want to, uh, uh, to be happy? The answer is yes. Do you want to, uh, uh, you, uh, you don't want any uh, pain and, uh, or suffering, correct? The answer is absolutely yes, okay? Just like you wish to, right, unlimited, right, limitless uh, uh, happiness and do not want the slightest suffering, right, and you certain that is your start, uh, your, your, that, that's how you've been conditioned or that's the, your current status or current attitude, okay. So now switch the rule, okay, switch the, uh, the, uh, the position, or switch the uh, rule in a Take this very ad, uh, understanding and then uh, uh, go to other, uh, put it in, uh, into other uh, person's uh, uh, position and then look at that person, thinking that person is like you, right, questioning, the, ask the same question. 
Uh, if that person want to be suffering, the answer is no, right? No. And uh, if that person want to be happy, right? Have a, a limitless happiness, and uh, uh, the answer is yes. Okay. So in this regard, in you and other are absolutely same, right? So equal. So equanimity in that sense is absolutely the same. So you, you, you yeah. um, But we, even though this is the simplest truth, this is such an obvious uh, reality, right? But uh, because uh, we are not, it doesn't really, and we, we doesn't feel so, or we don't really uh, consciously aware of it all the time. It is because uh, um, our grasping at the self of a person. In other words, our attachment to ourself, uh, our sort of uh, innate, uh, um, the, uh, the, the sense of uh, self-centeredness, uh, uh, okay? Self-centeredness, uh, which blocks us, which sort of uh, um, uh, concealed us to see this quality, okay? Because we always think, uh, uh, ourself, uh, I as the first, right? I as the most important, and I as the starting point, right? So therefore, we never really, uh, from uh, look at the uh, this, uh, simplest reality and uh, as it is. Um, so uh, yes, and we also have to know that uh, uh, again, this is a very simple, but it's uh, and you you have to do this. Uh, uh, in the meditation and uh, uh, consciously and then make, make it that, that uh, uh, reveal, let that the truth or the reality reveal to yourself okay? and uh, uh, appear to your conscious, uh, uh, appear in your mind so clearly. That is, um, so you want to be happy, right? And uh, you do not want to be suffered, right? And others, absolutely equally, want to be happy, do not want to uh, uh, suffer. Yeah. That's the, uh, no any differences, okay? No any difference. That, that just make that very, very, very clear. And then think, right? Um, the grasping and self, or the, uh, the, the ego, being an egocentric person, right? It, uh, it has no any a good quality, or there's, uh, it doesn't uh, contribute any uh, substantial, uh, sustainable, uh, the good qualities at all. Right? You have to uh, uh, be sure that is the case too. Why? Because first of all, if you, as long as you consider you are the center of the universe and you are the starting point of everything, and, the, and you uh, and the, you cherish, you grasp, in, and you are self as uh, uh, the most important thing, then what happens is that the attachment to, to the self is always there. Okay. So this attachment or clinging to the self love, a self and. Uh, uh, Importance. What happened is that at any point, when somebody, yeah, when anybody, and uh, uh, make you feel pain, or make you feel stressed, make you feel disappointed, and and uh, feel uh, uh, been challenged, then you will experience suffering. Right? You feel pain. As soon as you feel pain, or mentally you feel stressed, right? Uh, frustrated, what happened is the next, very next moment you experience uh, for yourself is anger. Right? Your, your experience of yourself is anger. So see that how does the chain reaction? First of all, grasping at self of a person, uh, attached to the yourself as the center of the most important thing, and then live with it, and then, then pursuing the unlimited uh, uh, happiness. Right? But uh, when you are pursuing the happiness, any time moment when somebody make you feel frustrated, feel defeated, and then you immediately experience the anger. And then the anger is the most horrible and uh, uh, destructive uh, feeling, uh, the emotions. Why? Because as soon as you become so angry, you are actually uh, mad. Okay, you are kind of experiencing some kind of madness. You are no longer thinking properly, and, and you no longer really understand whatsoever going on. 
So in many cases, we know as soon as we've been so uh, overly controlled or been under the, uh, the absolute dominated and the power of an anger, and uh, we do everything, right? We say everything, we do everything up until the things is over. And then when we reflect, we say, oh my God, what I have done is totally, it's like crazy. It's, I was mad, right? And I'm not it was, uh, uh, the, myself. So you can see that the anger, right, hatred, and uh, so how they relate and uh, how, what they can do to you, right? And same thing, and, uh, uh, how destructive it, uh, uh, it is. Uh, and destroy, it can destroy you and destroy others. But this is very destructive and uh, most uh, terrible uh, the afflicted emotion is related to the, your attachment to the happiness. Okay, and your sense of the happiness is uh, uh, rooted in the grasping at the self uh, uh, of a person or, or the self-centeredness or self-importance. And so reflect this, okay? reflect this and, and then switch the rule and, uh, uh, and then see, you know, you, you, uh, that, that's your experience, right? And how about others? Yes, others just exactly the same, right? So th this very meditation, and uh, it's a, the, uh, uh, it's not a for uh, uh, someone and uh, who uh, claim uh, who is Buddhist or who has a religious faith, uh, who have any affiliation with religion. No, it is a uh, uh, universal. Okay, it doesn't require you be a, a, a religious person at all. It only requires you is that you need to have this honest, and very clear, and a very uh, earnest uh, reflection. Okay? Reflection, and then then and stay with, and then experience that truth, and then maintain and live with that truth. The truth for equanimity. So let's practice about meditation for 15 minutes. After that, and uh, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer your, uh, your questions.